1001 Solve Problems in Engineering Mathematics, Day 4, number 166 to 170. So this is all about mixture problems. Okay, so ang formula na gagamitin natin para sa video na ito ay for mixture problem ay C1V1 plus C2V2 equals uh, C, CV. So ito na yung total. Ito na yung uh, CV, uh, C4 concentration. So ito yung my percent. And then V for the for the volume. Kapag dalawa yung pinaghalo, ito yung formula. Kapag tatlo naman yung pinaghalo, edi gagawin lang nating meron pang uh, C3V3. Then equal siya. Ito na yung... Uh, yung combination na nung tatlo, so CV na lang ang ilalagay natin. Okay, so kung apat ang pinagalo, dagdagan lang natin ng plus C sub 4, V sub 4. Okay? So let's start. Number 166. 10 liters of 25% salt solution and 15 liters of 35% salt solution are poured into a drum originally containing 30 liters of 10% salt solution. What is the percent concentration of salt in the mixture? Okay, so ang pinaghalo natin dito ay tatlo. So we have 10 liters of 25%, 15 liters of 35%. So pinaghinalo daw sa 30 liters of 10%. So tatlo yung pinaghalo, tapos kukunin natin yung percent nung mixture. Okay, so therefore ang formula natin para dito ay C1V1 plus C2V2 plus C3V3 equals CV. Okay, so isulat lang natin yung percent sa taas. Ayan, so 25%, 35%, and 10%. So sulat lang natin. Gawa tayo ng table para mas madali. So yung una dito ay percent and then sa pangalawa naman yung volume. So L na lang for liters. So we have yung mga percent natin. We have 25, 35, and then we have 10. So ang hinahanap natin, yung pinaghalo na, yun yung hinahanap natin. What is the percent? What is the percent concentration? So pinaghalo itong tatlong percent. So hindi natin alam yung percent ng uh, concentration natin ng mixture. So lagyan natin ito ng X. Tapos ilang liters yung 25%. So we have 10 liters ng 25%. So lagyan natin dito 10. 15 liters of 35. So we have 15. And then 10%. That is 30. So ang total na nila. So i-add lang natin ito. 10 plus 15 plus 30. And that is equal to 55. So substitute lang natin dito sa ating formula. Substitute lang sa formula. So we have, kahit magkabaligtad naman ito. So we have 25 times 10 plus 35 times 15 plus 10 times 30 equals x times 55. Or baligtad rin na lang natin, 55 times x. Okay, so pwedeng idiretso na natin sa calculator yan. So, X naman ang sinosolve natin. So, divide both sides by 55. Okay, so cancel na natin lahat yan. Divide lang natin both sides by 55. Okay, so next ay i-calculator na natin yan. Pwede nang idiretso yan. Okay, so calculator lang natin. 25 times 10 plus 35 times 15. 35 times 15. So, 775 na yon plus 10 times 30. So, pwede ko nang i-mental ito. 10 times 30. So, that is equal to 300. Okay? So, equals muna natin. So, 1,075 yung total nitong numerator. Divide lang natin. Direct, direct yun na sa 55. Therefore, the correct answer is 19.54. Pag niround up natin, 19.55%. So, the correct answer is letter A. Okay? So, x is equal to, naka-round up na natin, 19.55% letter A. So, next number, number 167. A chemist of a distillery experimented on two alcohol solutions of different strength, 35% alcohol and 50% alcohol respectively. How many cubic meters of each strength must he use in order to produce a mixture of 60 cubic meters that contain 40% alcohol. Okay, so dalawa lang yung pinaghalo natin. So ang magiging uh, formula natin para dito ay 
dalawa lang C1 V1 plus C2 V2 equal CV. So gawa tayo ng table. So percent ang ilalagay natin dito and then we have yung isa ay cubic meters. So lagay na lang natin M cube, cubic meters. So ano mga percent natin? 35% and 50%. So we have 35% and 50%. How many cubic meters of each strength must he use in order to, pro to produce a mixture of 60? 60 cubic meters. So dito yun sa 60 daw ang total. 60 cubic meters that contain 40% alcohol. So 40%, ito yung mixture natin, 60. And then 40% siya. So tandaan kapag naghalo tayo, kailangan yung mixture natin ay nasa pagitan lagi nung dalawang pinaghalo. Kagaya nito, 35 and 50, so 40 nasa, nasa pagitan. So, posible yan. Okay, so tapos alam natin ang total ay 60. Ang total ay 60, hindi natin alam yung 35% tsaka yung 50%. So, mag-a-assign lang tayo doon ng, ng variable. So, kahit anong uh, variable na gusto nyo, X na lang ilalagay ko. So, depende sa nyo kung saan nyo ilalagay ang X. Pwedeng X dito, pwede rin namang yung x ilagay niya sa 50. So depende sa inyo. Kung ang x ay kung ang 35% ay x tapos ang total nila ay 60. So therefore ang 50 natin magiging itong 60 minus x. Okay? So ngayon, buuin na natin ang equation, i-substitute na natin dito sa ating formula. So we have c u sub 1 v sub 1 so that is 35x plus c sub 2 v sub 2 so we have 50 multiply natin dito 60 minus x. That is equal to product nito. So we have 40 times 60. So simplify natin 35x plus 50 times 60. That is 5 times 6. So that is 30. May dalawang zero. So 3,000 minus 50 times x. So we have 50x equals 40 times 60. That is equal to 24. Ayan, dalawang zero. 2400. So solve for x. I-combine natin yung dalawang Dalawang x natin, 35 minus 50, that is negative 15x. And then subtract tayo ng 3,000 to both sides para makancel out ito. Subtract 3,000 to both sides. So therefore, negative 15x equals negative 600. So 3,000 minus 2 for 600. And then divide both sides by negative 15. So magiging positive na yung answer natin. X therefore is equal to... So negative over negative, positive na yan. 60 divided by 15, that is 4. May 0 pa, so 40. So 40 cubic meter itong x. So ito ay 40. Tapos ang total nila ay 60. So 20 itong 50%. So the correct answer, 40 daw ang 35%. So tingin tayo dito sa 35%, 40 daw. So ito yon 40. Tapos 20 ang 50% alcohol solution. So the correct answer is letter D. 40 na 35 and then 20 na 50%. Okay, so next number, number 168. A goldsmith has two alloys of gold. The first being 70% pure and the second being 60% pure. How many ounces of the 60% pure gold must be used to make 100 ounces of an alloy which will be 66% gold? So ang pinaghalo natin sa problem ay... Dalawa lang ulit. So therefore, ang formula natin ay C sub 1, V sub 1 plus C sub 2, V sub 2 equals CV. So gawa lang tayo ng table. Lagay natin percent at saka yung ounces. So yan yung ounces na lang lagay natin dito. So given natin a goldsmith has two alloy, 70% pure. So lagay natin dito 70%. And the second being 60% pure. So we have 60% pure. How many ounces of the 60%? So ito yung hinahanap natin. Ounces daw na 60%. So lagay natin dito X. Pure gold must be used to make 100 ounces. So yung total daw natin, yung dito sa last column natin, ang total daw natin ay 100 ounces. So 100 ounces of an alloy which will, will, will be 66% gold. So ito ay 66. So ang 60 natin, yun yung X. Tapos, 100 ng totals, total. So therefore, itong 70 ay magiging 100 minus X. Okay, so buuin lang natin ang ating uh, equation. So therefore, we have C sub 1, V sub 1. So that is 70 times this. So we have 100 minus X plus C sub 2, V sub 2. So 60 times X. We have 60X equals, ayan, CV yung total. So 66 
times 100. So simplify lang natin, distribute 70 times 100, so that is equal to 7,000 minus 70 times x, so that is 70x plus 60x equals 66 times 100 is 6,600 or 6,600. Then combine natin itong x, negative 70 min plus 60x, that is equal to negative 10x, and then subtract 7,000 to both sides, so cancel na yan. Negative 7,000. So therefore, we have negative 10x equals negative 400. And then divide both sides by negative 10. So therefore, the correct answer, x is equal to, ayan, so 40 divided by, yan, kinancel ko na yung dalawang zero. The correct answer is 40%. Okay, so which is, which is letter A. So letter A, 40%. Okay, so, or 40, sorry, na hindi pala percent yan, 40 ounces. Dito, ito pala yung hinahanap natin, given na pala yung percent. So, 40 ounces. Okay, so next number, number 169. 2,000 kilogram of steel containing 8% nickel is to be made by mixing a steel containing 14% nickel with another containing 6% nickel. How much of each is needed? Okay, so ilan yung pinaghalo natin dito? Dalawa lang. We have 8% and then uh, 8% pala yung total. Tapos pinaghalo natin 14% 14 and 6%. Okay, so ang formula natin ay so dito na sulat. So dalawa lang C sub 1, V sub 1 plus C sub 2, V sub 2 equals CV. So ilagay lang natin yung mga given natin. So, ang sabi, 2,000 kg of steel containing 8% nickel is to be made. Ayan. So, ito yung kailangan natin. Ito yung kakalabasan ng paghahaluin. Okay? So, therefore, lagay natin dito yung percent tsaka yung uh, kilogram. So, yung total daw pag pinaghalo ay magiging 8% na 2,000. Okay? So, 8% na 2,000. Yan yung kakalabasan. And then, is to be made by mixing a steel containing 14% nickel. So, 14% nickel with another containing 6% nickel. How much of each is needed? So, hindi natin alam itong dalawa, yung kilogram ng 14% and 6%. So, lagyan lang natin yan ng X. X yung 14, tapos ang total daw ay 2,000. So, therefore, itong 6% ay 2,000 minus X. Then, buuin na natin ating equation. So, C1, V1, we have 14 times X, 14X, plus C2, V2, we have 6. Multiply to this, 2,000 minus X equals the product of this, 8 times 2,000. Then, simplify lang natin. So, we have 14X plus distribute this, 6 times 2,000, so that is 12,000. 6 times negative X, so that is negative 6X equals 8 times 2,000, so that is 16,000. So simplify, combine natin ito, 14, tsaka itong 14x minus 6x, that will be 8x, subtract 12,000 to both sides, para wala na ito, so subtract 12,000 to both sides, so therefore we have 8x is equal to 4,000. Divide both sides by 8, so therefore the correct answer, the 14% uh, solution natin is 40 divided by 8. We have 500. So 500 of 14%. 500 of 14%. So ito yun. 500 of 14%. And then we have, so syempre ang total nila kung ang x ay 500, ang total daw ay 2,000. So therefore, 1,500 itong 6%. 500 and then 1,500 of 6% letter C. Okay, so last number. For this video, so we have number 170. How much water must be evaporated from 10 kilogram solution which has 4% salt solution to make a solution of 10% salt? So, iba naman itong problem na ito. Ang sabi dito ay hindi na hindi pinaghalo ito. So, evaporated naman. Evaporated daw. How much water must be evaporated from 10 kilogram? So ang given natin 10 kg na 10 kg solution which has 4% salt. 
so, uh, yan, salt solution to make a solution of 10% solution. So since itong word na evaporated, ibig sabihin, ang magiging formula natin dito, imbis na plus ay subtraction. Okay, so ilagay lang ulit natin dito yung percent. So tapos dito sa baba naman yung uh, kilogram. So magsisimula tayo dito sa ang given 4%. So given 4%, tapos ang sabi how much water? How much water must be evaporated? Itong percent solution natin dito, salt. So kung ang mag -e evaporate ay yung water, ibig sabihin walang salt yon So ibig sabihin ang percent nung, nung water na yon ay zero. Zero percent na salt yon Dahil ang mag -e evaporate lang ay yung water. Okay, so tapos, ayan, solution to make a solution of 10% salt. So from 4%, magiging 10% na siya. Okay, so hindi na natin ilalagay percent dahil nandito na. So ayan, 4%, 0%, magiging 10%. Tapos ano yung mga kilograms niya? So we have sa 4%, meron tayong 10 kg solution which has 4%. So 10 kg dito, etong 0% na water, hindi natin alam ito. So ito yung lalagay natin na X. So tapos, syempre, ang original natin, 10, tapos ito yung X. Nag-evaporate, so imbis na ipa-plus, ima-minus natin ito. So 10, ito ay X. So yung nag-evaporate na ay 10 minus X. So magiging formula natin dito ay C1, V1, imbis na plus magiging minus C sub 2, V sub 2 equals CB. So uh, substitute lang natin dito sa formula. So we have 4 times 10 minus 0 times X. So we have 0X equals CV. So ito na yon. So 10 times 10 minus X. 10 times 10 minus X. Just solve for X. So ito wala na yan. 0 na kasi yan. So we have 4 times 10. That is 40 equals distribute this. So 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times negative x, we have negative 10x. Combine lang natin ito. So, itong 100, lipat sa kabila, subtract 100 to both sides. Therefore, we have 40 minus 100, we have negative 60 equals negative 10x. Divide both sides by negative 10. Therefore, the correct answer is x equals 60 over 10, that is equal to 6. So, therefore, the correct answer is, letter C, 6 kilograms. Ang kailangan water na mag-evaporate para makakuha ng 10% salt solution. Okay, so that's all. Thank you for watching and kita-kita tayo sa mga susunod pang math reviewer para sa engineering mathematics. So good luck po sa lahat ng nagre-review. Bye-bye and God bless.